Good readings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Cube World with yours truly, Gordo, the Goblin Ranger. Ta-da! Whoa. And uh, his faithful pet here, uh, Porcupine. Those are actually spikes. They look like blocks. But those are really spikes. They're sharp. Now, little Porcupine here, who I tamed in the last... Uh, well, last night. I guess I didn't do that in, on camera, did I? Uh, no, I didn't. So I uh, ended up uh, befriending this little fella. And he is rideable, which is pretty awesome. He's a level 11. He came that way, right off the shelf. So that's helpful. Um, that's a couple of levels higher than carb. But... Hold on. Hold on. Something's coming. Something's coming in the night. Where is it? Porcupine. Porcupine needs a name. I don't want to call him Porcupine. And Porky is just way too obvious. So what I would appreciate for you lovely people out there to do for me... Would be to come up with some kind of a slick name. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, wizards. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh. One quick zap, and we is toast. So yes, my porcupine. It would benefit from a name, and I need some suggestions. So if you guys just want to put some name ideas down in the comments, I would appreciate it, and I will choose one lucky winner. Oh, jeez. I'm shooting at the wizards. That's not good. Because <laughs> they shoot back. Like with beams of death death rays or something like that. Alright, we're going to, I think, sleep through the night right here. I'm going to take a little nap. And Porcupine is going to um, just cover me. I sleep on my face. That's how goblin rangers sleep. Don't get so close, Porky. Eyes out. You have to look out into the darkness, not stare at me. So I'm just going to sleep through the night here, get some Z's, and um, in the morning we're going to take a ride across the ocean over here. So we're at the Narsal Tree, my old, old town, Duran Duran City is that way, there's a new town here. So we're going to cross this ocean, we'll have to swim, I want to get over to the new town, and oh, it's almost morning. Okay, somebody's coming. Hold on. If them's the wizards. Ah! Yeah. Okay, vacate the bed. Vacate the bed. Alert, alert. I guess we can just go now. What time is 4.01 in the morning. What do they... They want this campsite. They're just afraid of me. They've heard about Gordo the Goblin Ranger and how dangerous of a foe he is. Yeah, that's right. You better run away. You know what's good for you. Oh, maybe it's because I'm sleeping so close to the Narsal tree. All right, I want a little bit more sunshine. It is a beach after all. So we're going to swim over here. And I'm going to get, what do I, I have? I'm 354 experience out of 383. I'm going to hit the next level very soon. And then um, I'll bump up my boat riding. Yeah. Let's go. Let's just go do it. I probably shouldn't sleep under the big dark dangerous tree. That seems to spawn bad guys. Um, so we're going to get up to the next level. And Oops. Did you get wet? And then I'm going to go to that town to buy a boat. Cause I don't... Do I, have, I didn't buy a boat, no. So we're going to go buy a boat. And I want to check out that new town anyway. And then we're going to take a boat and travel along this ocean. That's going to be awesome. And I have... Uh, yeah, I'll get two skill points, right? For the next level. And then I'll... Be able to get a boat. Be able to ride the boat. I heard somebody in the water. Was that you, buddy? Is that you? Oh, it's such a lovely morning. Now, I find that fighting here in the ocean is a heck of a lot easier than fighting on land. You get some really nice experience from these big fishes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're really slow. Like, to take on one giant blowfish. Por qué? There he is. Maybe I should bring crab out. He's a little better in the water, maybe. <laughs> um, they give about 12, 10 to 14 experience, some of these bigger fish. Is that just a single? And they're slow, and you can just kind of hang back and snipe them. This is especially good for a ranger with this kind of range. And just back up and shoot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't usually take on the piranhas, though. And sometimes they drop. 
extra foods. Um, what do I have for pet food, by the way? Ginger tartlet. I did see a crocodile. <gasps> what happened to my... Oh, my marmalade. I got, I got the porcupine with marmalade. Okay. Um, the... Right. The apple ring is for the crocodile. I saw a crocodile. I didn't realize I had the food to, to tame him, so I didn't do that yet. And I wanted to do that on camera anyway. So if we happen to see a crocodile, we'll snag him. But first, I'm just going to level up, and it looks like a couple more kills... Sun is almost up fully. It's 5 a.m. here in Cube World. It's actually pretty early here in Paul's world. Um, I think my wife just got back. Are those wizards? Are they good wizards? Bad wizards? With my coffee. Good wizards! So I'm probably going to take a break and go grab that because I'm still kind of foggy headed right now. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I pressed R to ride my porcupine in the water and check it out. I am actually riding porcupine underwater. He's doing all the work while I just cruise on his back. This is awesome. Is this like a giant fault line? Look at that. Oops. Ooh. Oh, I fell off. Quick, I'm sinking. Thank you. So I was looking at the Q World website uh, last night to see see if there's been any new developments yet because the developing is going kind of slowly. It's essentially one guy working on this thing. So the last update was July 23rd. Today is the eighth, sixty-eighth. Um, but I was just looking at the website to see what's done and what's planned. So there are quite a few biomes actually already in the game, and they're mass apparently they're pretty massive. Because I've only seen the one, the grassland, which is one that we started out in, and then this one, the ocean. And I haven't seen any others, at least not personally. My son has seen uh, a lava world he's been to, but he used some kind of a seed to get there. Um, and he may have been to a jungle. But there's jungle, desert, lava world... And a snow biome, and then this green grassland so far. I think that's all of them uh, in the ocean. But uh, there's several other ones planned. And the website also alluded to the fact that there are um, underwater caves. I haven't seen any yet. But if I do, we'll certainly hop into it and check it out. I would imagine when they say underwater caves, they mean in these gigantic oceans, right? All right. Anyway, we have an island coming up. We'll get over here to some land. And I haven't seen any fishes. Any of the big, giant fishes other than the piranhas. I guess we'll just kill some piranhas. Just only want to shoot one of them right now. Ooh, knock them down. Knock them down. Let me knock a fish down. Oh, I got your number, pal. I got your number, pal. Level up, sweet. Oh, 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 cave. Is that a cave? I think this is a cave. Silver deposit. It is. It's a cave. Woohoo. Let's check it out. All right. Silver right here on the outside. I still never got that really nice lantern. So it apparently. Um, it's basically the same kind of cave that you find on the surface, except that it's underwater. Oh, is that emerald? It is. Can you get through here, porcupine? There's a bat in the cave underwater? <laughs> what? That don't make no sense at all. That's pretty funny. Now, let's see. Should I blast through this? Somebody's splashing around out there. It's nice that you don't actually have to worry about breathing. My guess is... At some point down the road, you will have to worry about running out of breath underwater. But for right now, it's not in the game, so I won't complain. 
Oh, I leveled up, didn't I? All right, let's um, let's do swimming and boating, sailing is what they call it. So now all I need is something to sail in. All right, I'm looking for a crocodile. I think I'm I'm still in the ocean biome here. Oh, and I got a fly too. See, check out the fly. It's only level four, though, and he's not rideable. So, but I do want to catch them all, and I don't know what the significance of the island is, but or why it's worthy of a name. There must be something special here. I see radishlings, which is not all that exciting. Cormlings. Must be a boss here somewhere. Maybe a giant radish? There's a lot of radishes <laughs> and cormlings. This is like the island of the vegetables. Oh, onionlings! It is the island of the vegetables. But I do like onion slices. Got the radishling down there. It is. It's the island of the killer vegetables. Dun dun dun. Some sort of scientific experiment gone awry. Oh, look at this. I love this. One of my favorite trees in real life is a willow tree. And how they have the branches, the stringy branches they hang down. They provide a lovely amount of shade underneath there. And they're very pretty. So that's probably why I'm attracted to that viney looking thing. Uh, let's get some more onions. You never have enough onions. Great for mushroom spit. I hear somebody. Somebody in this cave. Oh, cool. Check it out. This cave has water in here. Oh, awesome. Now I wish I had a better light. This is like a big ocean cave. Look at that. It's so sweet. It's like a little hideaway. A little pirate hideaway. Wait, is that all the water? Okay. I thought maybe it opened up into the ocean, but... Oh, darn. It's really not that impressive. Is it? Oh, wait. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. thought so. Oh, so cool. Betty! Let's see if this leads outside. Porky! I really don't want to keep calling him Porky. Because Porky reminds me more of a pig. Porky the pig? Rather than a porcupine. Look at this. It does. It leads out. Oh, that is so cool. It's a little hidden cave. Neat. If there were only some way to mark the coordinates. I would build a house down there. That's cool. Alright, let's just take out this guy, and then we're going to make a beeline for the village. Drop anything? Nope. And the village is... Dun, 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 well, wow. Still pretty far. So, nozzle trees here. This island is pretty big. So we're going to go to the northwest. All right, that's what we'll do. And I will... Uh, I'm going to kill some stuff on the way over and get some more experience. And then I'll meet you over at the town and we'll go do some shopping, get a boat. And then maybe... Ooh, he dropped something. I heard that. Plunk. A dagger? How good is that? So uh, that's what we'll do. And then we'll head out and do some sailing and see if we can find any new biomes. Uh, I would like to find a desert. Snow. Um, what is the other one? Desert and snow. Oh, and a jungle, right? All right, so that's what we'll do. I will be right back. Stay tuned. Oh. Look what we found. A rockling. I've never fought a rockling before. Whoa! Ow! Ow! 
Okay. Ow, that hurts. Oh, he's tough. Okay. Get him, Porky. Come on, do something. I didn't know. You. Why am I? Why am I swing? Oh, he's throwing rocks. Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Oh my gosh. Ow. I'm dead. Holy mackerel. I did not expect that. Whoo. Okay, well, that wasn't pleasant, was it? So I guess bats floating around on the surface of the ocean here would indicate that there is a cave nearby. Seems to be fairly logical. It's just a theory, but let's see. Um, hmm. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, that's why there's bats. It's got to be some kind of a other fish, like maybe a blind cave. Whoa. You know, maybe some other way to indicate. That's a lot of bats. Yeah. You know, maybe a different way. Something, some kind of a sea creature that would indicate that there's a cave instead of a bat. What is that? I find a lot of stuff that I can't use. Which is a shame. So yeah, I don't know. Like maybe a cave fish could be floating around. And that would be a dead giveaway. Yeah, you know, there's a cave, right? Lots of... Ooh. I critical that iron deposit. Hopefully at this next town, we'll get a better lantern. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. I want to get to this town. I want to get a boat. Oh! That dude's dropped some stuff. What is that? Oh, I already have an apple ring. That's for the crocodile. I can't carry more than one. What if I want to give one to a friend? Hmm? Oh! 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 I was just about to take a break and go snag that coffee, which I have not done yet. But look at this. A nomad! He's red, though, and he's got a staff, which means he's going to shoot a death ray. Should we get a little distance and shoot him? Let's just give him a try. Uh, let's get over here on top of the hill. You know, the thing about some of these red enemies, the ones that are really tough, is it's kind of pointless killing them. Oh, oh, hold on. Peacock, are we friends? We good here? Um, because they give about the same amount of experience as the easier enemies. So it's like, why take the risk. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Lost him in the water. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? He's gonna kill Porky, and then he's gonna come kill me. Yeah. Alright, bye. Whee! Ah, oh, that's good. Ice coffee. Whew, just enjoying a nice cold beverage here with Urku, the orc. <clears throat> on an island that has the ruins of Varkor on them. So, on it. Let's go check out the ruins. Goodbye, Urkurark. He's not much of a conversationalist. Let's just put it that way. So, Cotton picking plants here. I just saw it over here. There it is. Okay, so here's part of the ruin. And I saw nomads. I saw another nomad over here. We have uh, a history with nomads, a very recent history, an unpleasant history. Ooh, spiky creature over here, too. Ginseng's good. There it is. The ruins of Varkor. Ooh, it's a big flower. I would imagine there's undead here. Oh, big fight, big fight. Spike creatures, cats. Anybody need my help? Oh, all right, I'll just grab the goods. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah, thanks for the cash. Um, <clears throat> let me know when you're done. Okay, hi, Desander. I love your hair. Is that like a? It's a light pink. Is that fuchsia? Is it fuchsia? I like that. Looks great. And uh, so, what do we do here? We're just killing spike creatures. Is that the deal? Mom. I'm good at that, actually. I'm 
specialize in the spike creatures. Now I wonder what the significance of the ruins are. Let's go check it out, Porky. Spike creatures within. Whoa, here they come. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of... Sp oh my gosh. Yeah. And I'm off me. Good thing they're white. Which means they're kind of weak. Expecting in the ruins to see more like red and orange names, but white names, not too difficult. And they only give me one experience apiece, so pretty lame. Maybe there's treasure inside. This is a dark ruin. Nope. Not this one, anyway. So the only other ruin that I have experience with is the one that I did with my son, right? And that's the, uh, uh, I'm not even sure if that was on this particular map, but it had a lot of undead in it. They were challenging, to say the least. But these spike creatures, it's like, yeah. Time for a little pumpkin muffin. And while I'm eating that, I'll have another sip of my coffee. A nice ice cold coffee. See, I drink... Ice coffee in the summer, and I drink the hot stuff when it's cold. There's the boss man. Right? I don't want to ride the boss man. I want to shoot him. What is he? He's Icola. 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 We're pretty close to town. Did I happen to see an angel? I can respawn here somewhere. If I die, I should go get that fuchsia-headed girl, human. She can help me out here. All right, let's do this, Porky. Get psyched up. I put my lamp away. I need two hands for this. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, just a pig. I shoot him. You go get him. Go, 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 go. Oh, nice, 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 nice. We got this. If I can keep him on his butt. Whoa! Holy! Bananas. This guy's bananas. Oh, he shoots. Well, no wonder. Yikes. Shoot up. Don't shoot the poor piggy. <laughs> Leave him be. You leave him be. You leave him be. Ha! <laughs> I better drink. I can dodge, you know. Come on, Porky, do your thing, man. It's too many buttons. I don't like too many buttons. I really don't like pressing that middle button either. Oh, did you? Who'd you kill? Did you kill? Por no, Porky's back. Porky's back. We got him. We got him. We got him. Nice. Thanks, pig. I like you. What's your name, fella? Hmm? Hey, you're Porky. You want me to tame you, don't you? I don't know what to give you. What did I get anyway? I got a battle-tested wood crossbow plus five. Only ten experience for that guy. Two silver, and I just got... Uh, oh, wait. I didn't pick it up yet. There it is. The wood... Uh, wind spirit. Pig, my little friend. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Now, what do I... How? What do I get... What do I need to feed you to get you? Pumpkin mash. Aw. Man, I owe you my life, my friend. Don't I? Hero pig is what we shall call you. Hero Pig. I'm just trying to get a good screenshot next to Hero Pig here. Hero Pig and Porcupine. So, Hero Pig. Um, what? I don't have any pumpkin mash. And I'm not sure where to get it. But I will come back for you. I will remember you always, Hero Pig. I will come for you. Porky, you just move your butt for a second so we can get a good screenshot with Hero Pig. There we go. Hero pig, I will come back for you. Okay, buddy? I'll come back and tame you. You, specifically. So sad. That I have to leave hero pig behind. But we got the boss. Hey, goblins, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Hell, oh! <gasps> Maxa, is that you? It's me, Gordo. Remember me from ranger school? Yeah! Oh, those are some good times. So, fancy meeting you on here. Is this your new boyfriend? Hmm? 
A wizard? I mean, really? All right, well, enjoy. Uh, ruins are right over the hill here, so uh, the boss is, well, dead. Huh. <clears throat> I finished him off. <clears throat> Alone, mind you, Maxa. <laughs> so, uh, you know, call me. <sighs> okay, bye. Yeah, she's just an old flame. An old, an old college flame. She's got a new boyfriend, a wizard. <clears throat> Whatever. All right, let's get to town. There it is. I mean, what could she be thinking? A wizard? Okay, clearly it's the red robes. It's got to be the robes. I mean, the guy doesn't even have a porcupine. Sheesh. Oh, women goblins these days. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, there it is. It's Galan City in the ocean of Galan. Makes sense. Hey guys, you want to help me out with these uh, piranhas? What do you say? Hey orcs, Cthulhu, you get the one on the right. Gorrar, you get the one on the right too. And I'll shoot him from over here. Nice work, chop chop, slice and dice there. Get okay, let's get the other one too. Hi, no that one over there, man. Oh, you have goggles. Where'd you get the goggles, man? Those are fashionable. All right, how about this guy right here? Here, I'll bring him in. Get him. There you go. Jody bites. Fast. Keep shooting, Kuthuk. Ooh. Good work. Did you drop anything? No. Nope. Yeah, just rub that on your chin like that. That's I find that's about the best thing for it. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, thanks for the help. Adios. <laughs> Alright, here we are. At the Galan City. Let's go check it out. And no crocodile, darn it. And I'm so close to next level, level 13. Just have to shoot a few more fishies. Hello, sheep. Oh, this is cool. It's a tropical town. There's a fence in the water. This must be the safe area to swim in. <clears throat> well, minus the nobles, but we'll take care of that. I like the way they say ow. It's cool. Everybody should say, oh, whoa, he's drinking and I can't hurt him. Get out of the water so I can shoot you better. Come on. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Where is Porky? Porky. Nice moves, dude. Yeah, I got some moves, too. See that? T. Do you know Porky? There we go. All right, let's ride into town. This will impress them all. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Look at these buildings, they're beautiful. Definitely like a tropical paradise. Like little condos or something. Is this marble? Sandstone? Stucco? Very interesting. Alright, let's get into the town proper. Oh, look at that. Big tower there. Pet district. I wonder what the fella that's making this game, Wole, has in store for the pet district. Because right now, there's just not much there. I mean, there's a lot of animals walking around, but they're pretty much everywhere. Don't mind the goblin rangers stealing the pumpkins. It's all for good cause, you know. There's nobody here anyway. This is creepy. This is a creepy town. Everybody's gone. Oh, maybe the pets live here. Hi, pets. I see a dummy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alexander. Hello. Um, you're not my trainer, though. Not that I'm looking to train right now, anyway. We want to find the cellar man. Or girl. So it looks like... Looks like buildings... Uh, looks like the shops are down this way. Okay. Ride right into town. On my porcupine. Go to the Goblin Ranger. Ooh. I hear many feats. This could be good, this could be bad. Wolfram! I think this is my guy. The guy with the targets. Yep. Hello! Hmm. I would agree. I would agree. I would agree. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything with you right now, dude. Here's the crafting district, which I will be doing some here. I've got some, uh, some of these new spirit cubes, right? So... Be making some attachments. 
weapon customizations. By the way, that crossbow that I had found off the boss isn't really very good. But we'll go through all that shortly. I just want to go see um, the provisioner. The guy with the boats. It's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. I see it on the minimap. This is a lovely little town. It's so bright here. Isn't it? It's like a little vacation spot. This will be my vacation spot. When Gordo the Goblin Ranger... Yep, that's the only way to... I don't know how to get off this <laughs> porcupine without shooting. Uh, when Gor Gordo the Goblin Ranger needs a little break from killing and hunting and adventuring... Oh, that's a good one! He'll come here to the Galan City. I'm going to buy that lamp. Oh, yeah. Now I wish it were nighttime so I could try it out. And I would like a, a boat, please. Nice. Carrot? I already have carrots. Shoulder armor. Okay, so we are, we've got a little shopping to do here. And selling. And I'm just going to sell all the stuff I can't use. Um, my gosh, did I pick up anything that I could actually use? Not much. Notice that I did some organizing. Ooh, leftovers. I've got to go do something with leftovers. Let's go get that checked out. Let's go find the, uh, the, the sifter of puke. Hello! Yes, I'm a goblin from far, far to the south. In the lands of the green grasses and meadows. We're so far away. I had to swim across the ocean of Galan, past the Icoga island in the Narzal tree. I fought my way through the ruins of Varkor, defeating the boss there. A huge, nasty spike creature. All the way to see you all, you folks, so I could buy a boat. This is my tale. Now, meet me tonight at the inn, and I will tell you even more amazing stories of my amazingness. And where's that other lamp? Blue. Check this one out. Bam! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, sorry. I didn't mean to scream. Wow! What a difference that blue makes. Bam! Okay, lots of stuff to look at here. I'm going to do a little shopping off camera. Um, and selling. But why don't we just go, at least go get the puke sifted through. That's easy enough. And then I'm going to take a look at all the vendors here and see... Oops what I can buy that's better than what I have. So I'm going to be doing all that comparison stuff off camera because it's kind of boring. All right. Um, let's put the leftovers in here. Power 59. I don't think I can use it. Oh! <laughs> great sword. That's a lovely great sword. I might even keep that for my orc. I don't know. That's... Uh, you know, here's what I think. <laughs> if you want to know. Woohoo! Um... If you find leftovers, then it should at least give you something that you can use. And leftovers are pretty rare to begin with, right? I mean, not many animals puke after you kill them. I want to smash my face against the keyboard when I open up the leftovers and I get something that I can't even use. All right, this is a great spot. Is this an island? It looks like an island from here. Yeah, I guess it is, because I have explored all around. I love this place. Total tropical vacation island. Are you kidding me, Porky? This is awesome. All right. I think it's time to quit right now. I'm going to go through all my inventory here, do some sailing. We'll go for a boat ride in the next episode. We'll sail the Galan Sea. Uh, we'll probably head back toward that and maybe go around. We'll skirt around our other lands here. and Kind of maybe see if we can find another... Um, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some quests in this town and we'll head off this way. Well, I don't know yet. I don't know. But Gordo will have a plan for the next episode, guaranteed. And uh, I guess we'll just see you all then. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, I need a name for my porcupine. Name for Porky here. Porky's going to be with me for a while, at least until I get a crocodile. Um, which I would imagine would be higher level. And then I could... Um, Maybe I can ride a croc. I don't know. 
So, there you go. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Is that a pumpkin? What? Trapped? Are we trapped? Don't think so. No! Oh! Oh, a staff! Talons of the Wind. I already have that spell. It's pretty useless. Wizard's Autumn. And Fire Rune and more essences and compounds. Oh, boy. Okay, this is a pretty good find. Now, I want to try out that spell staff. Oh, there is a secret room. I, I thought I heard the echo. Ooh. Let's get down here. Careful. I don't want things to explode on me. Oh, there's, there's a way up here, too. Did I blast? I did not blast the power node. There we go. 